for total performance physical therapy. Tonight we're gonna go over four stretches that you can do in bed. So a lot of us are having a little bit lazier time right now, not getting out of bed, but feeling the effects from that, feeling the effects from sitting and not really moving a lot, not being able to move a lot. And I'm getting a lot of emails and kind of correspondence on my back's getting really stiff, my back's getting sore. And this is commonly what happens when we find ourselves not moving as much. So there's things that you're able to do without even leaving your bed uh, that's going to help loosen up some of your uh, back and, and some of your neck a little bit and just be able to kind of feel a little bit better. You can do these first thing in the morning, you can do them in the afternoon, you can do them a couple times a day, all right? But they're just gonna help you loosen up. It's just gonna be nice and easy. So the first one you're gonna do, so you're gonna pretend that you're laying, or maybe not even pretend, you're on your back. So if you sit up, you just wanna put one foot in, okay? One leg stretched out. You wanna sit up nice and tall, okay? You don't wanna do this like this. This defeats the purpose and you're actually herniating a lot of your discs that are gonna cause yourself more discomfort. So make sure that you sit up nice and tall. And all you're gonna do is you wanna hip hinge. You wanna lean forward at your hips. Again, you don't wanna bend forward and try and grab your toe. Most of you are gonna be able to grab your toe if you do that. But if you sit up, you just hinge forward at the hips, you're gonna get a stretch right in through there, okay? If you feel pain going on your leg, you don't wanna do this, all right? If you feel kind of a shooting pain, that's not a good thing. You wanna stop, stop doing this, but, and you wanna hold that, all right? Nice and easy, okay? You can start by 30 seconds, and then you can switch sides, and you can do another 30 seconds, okay? You wanna alternate about six times. You're gonna to start to be able to go further and further the more you go. You wanna make sure that your toe is pulled up towards your nose to get that maximum low back and hamstring stretch. Again, this should just feel nice and easy, loosening up your low back. Now, to start in the leg position, you can do run where you just bring one knee up to your chest. Now, sometimes it's really painful for people to have this leg, other leg straight out. That's okay, you can bend it up. You get a little bit better stretch though if you stretch it out as far as you can, just nice and straight. Sometimes you'll have one, a leg where it won't even touch the ground. That's a lot of tightness. As long as it's not irritating for your leg to be up like that, let it up there, okay? I mean, if it naturally falls, let it fall. But some, some people will have tight enough muscles that they'll just do this and their leg will pop up off of the table. Obviously, that's okay. You just wanna make sure this leg is relaxed. Hold that 30 seconds, and you're gonna go ahead and switch nice and easy, okay? Obviously, your neck is gonna be supported at this time on a pillow. I'm just holding my head up so I can demonstrate. And the next one you're gonna do, you can just go right into where you're just gonna pull both knees up to your chest, okay? Hug them in as tight as you can. Again, if you have pain and numbness tingling, you obviously wanna stop, okay? You can make the stretch a little bit better by tucking your chin all the way in and curling up into a little ball. You don't want to really squeeze hard. It's, not, it's more of a stretch. It's not uh, a contract relax. So you can keep your neck even relaxed if you want and just pull your knees up into your chest. Nice and easy, just like that. Then you can go into what we have the figure four stretch. So this is one of my favorites. You've seen a bunch of videos where I've done this before. Uh, this can be a stretch in and of itself. So if you cross your ankle over your knee and you're like, oh, I feel a pretty good stretch, that's enough. You might wanna push your knee a little bit more to get a little bit bigger of a stretch, okay? If you feel a stretch at any point, stop. That's where your stretch is. You can also put your arms in between your legs and pull your knee up to your chest, all right? Now this may be uncomfortable, this may be painful, this may be too much. So that way you just kind of start here and you stay here. Again, this is 30 seconds, nice and easy. This one you can also kind of do while you're sitting up. So you're just gonna sit up, swing your legs over the bed. Again, you wanna hip hinge, you don't want to do this. But nice and easy, just lean forward, keeping your back nice and straight, okay? And then switch and do the other side. 30 second hold, six times. That's a really gentle stretching routine that you can start to get in the habit of whenever you're feeling sore, whenever you're feeling stiff. It's an easy way to uh, loosen up that low back. And as we're finding ourselves more and more sedentary during this time, you definitely wanna do that a couple times a day just to start to loosen up the muscles. 
You then can hop in the hot shower. You can do a nice long walk after that, but that helps loosen up uh, the low back, hamstring, kind of hip area. If you are experiencing back pain and want a free consultation with a doctor of physical therapy, all you have to do is call our office at 215-997-9898 and we'd be happy to get you in. Thanks and have a good night.